back today guys to the channel back here apex point for another special episode today we're going to be doing some tuning we're going to be also building the la3 car and i'm going to also test out controller support on this game before we do though two things one of which we have another giveaway for today for another apex point key all you need to do is comment down below apex point you guys have 24 hours to get your comments in there's no limit as to how many times you can comment and we're going to be pinning a winner in 24 hours time and seeing who wins the free copy of Apex Point here on Steam. I'll be pinning the winner in the comments in 24 hours. Huge thank you to Apex Point for their continued support with these keys. And they even dropped us a comment last episode. It goes, glad you liked it. We would love to see you build a peripheral ported LA3 car in the next video. Note, you can fix the oscillating force feedback issue you know, by increasing the force feedback dampening in game settings and you can lower the force feedback intensity or weight if it's too strong. Right now, again, the Apex Apex Point devs are in the comments watching, seeing your guys' feedback, right? It's awesome to see a game company continuously doing this and making their game better. I'm really excited for this. We're going to test this out on the controller. Huge thank you for watching once again for today. And of course, before we start, dad joke of the day coming from Meme Sand Gaming 420 He goes, I love the vids, bro. Huge thank you for watching. He goes, my girlfriend said you act like a detective too much. I want to split up. Good idea, I replied. That way we can cover more ground right oh my goodness i like it huge thanks for watching and of course don't forget to slap that like button okay we're back at the dealership for today let's see what awaits and oh okay i'll come back when you guys have better inventory garage home base once again let's go ahead use car dealership and let's see what is available for today not looking good oh boy 3.7 mil What's so special? Oh, he's got the airbox on there, though. Mm, this paint is horrendous, but, I mean, that's not really a big deal. We can paint the car. 3.7 mil. It's looking pretty doable, if I'm being honest. Um, it's, right, it's registered. Trunk volume, 285 liters. That's a lot of trunk volume. Why do we need to know that? We also have a spare tire in there. Definitely weighing it down. Okay. Oh, it's stick to its standard. Got the handbrake in there, nice. Okay, close it up, close, yep. So we're gonna go ahead and pick this up, bang. And let's get this thing home, uh, quickly. Okay, quick sip here of my coffee. Now we need to start the vehicle. Still need to do that with eye on the keyboard. Some of the things are mapped, some of them aren't. I do have my analog stick rotating around the car. And we can throttle it up. Jeez, okay, how do we shift? We have a shift button? Oh, okay, it's Y to shift up, and looks X to shift down there. Oh, okay. Last few times we've played this game, it's been on the wheel. So it's going to be interesting just to see how this game does perform on something different, and something that more or less I think everybody's going to be playing this game on, right? I mean, this is not really too much of a realistic simulation game to be using a full direct drive wheel but it's fun though oh sorry sorry Ooh. now we get to see kind of the physics at play on here oh excuse me excuse me we're gonna head right to our garage we have a handbrake button that's our look back button okay oh we're flying he even goes for the shift we can look around in the car too oh that's pretty cool Got the shifter there. Let's do something crazy here. Where's my handbrake button though? I don't have one. Do I not have one at all? Okay, we're breaking, we're breaking, yep. Right, let's pull this in. We're coming in. And I do have to uh, make sure I back it in as well. Yep, yep, yep. Get the camera working, yep, there we go. Just do my own manual backup. I don't know why the game would think that I want them to park my car. Yeah, no. I want to park the car, sir. And look at that. 12 o'clock on the dot. We made it. Okay, let's hop out. And I did it again. I took the hood off. I don't need to do that. Hold on. Hit F. There we go. Okay. So, the plan is... Plan the 2J. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that once again. We'll see what we can get this thing into. In terms of horsepower numbers. And we'll actually give it a good proper tune this time. This is where you got to be careful not to miss anything, because if uh, you do, 
Um, right. I don't think you're going to end up noticing what you didn't end up getting. Clutch V2, I guess we'll go with, and the fuel rail V3. We're going to get this transmission out of the way, though. Unmount drive shaft. Okay, that makes sense. Lift her up. Lift her up. Bang. bang. Okay. Put her back down. There's no up and down, so you just got to wait till it comes back down, basically. Just hold it. Okay. And now... Where is my... Yeah, 2J block. Bang. Crankshaft. And let's start putting this together. And it goes together fast. Look at this. Is this not the quickest 2J build you've ever seen in your life? Oh, sorry. Yep. Oh my goodness. Whoo! That was a quick one. And again... The intercooler piping is coming right out the bumper. So now, if we want to tune this, this is what we're going to need to do here. So we go into the toolbox. We don't click on the wrench. We click on the screwdriver. And then we come back over to the car. And then, bang. We can then tune the vehicle to what we want. Now, it's currently only on, what, 0.2? So let's just leave it the way it is. And I want to quickly maybe throw in some other upgrades here fast. New handbrake, gauge set. Tachometer. Oh, dashboard V2. We got a brand new hood I can throw on. Yes, please. Shark nose hood. That's cool. New grill. Grill V2, V4. Let's go with V4. They just have V2. Okay. We got a ducktail. Yeah, definitely putting a ducktail on this thing. Let's throw that on. A little Euro style. Um, okay. What I will do though, a little 30, 45 mil spacers all around. Bang, 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 bang. We're going to throw in the gauges here. Let's go ahead and open the door. I know we're on the wrong side, but it doesn't matter. Gauge set, tachometer going in. That's cool. Go on the back here. Throw on the, oop, throw on the ducktail. Uh, and then can we do the... Oh, we can do the spacers as it's on the car. That's pretty cool. Oh, we can do tire pressure too. No way. Take off the grill. Uh, maybe the front bumper panel here. Let's just see what this looks like without it. Oh my god, it's hideous. Okay. Um, hopefully that'll all go back on. Because I don't like the look of that. Take off that front end. That front end. Oh! Little drag build almost. <laughs> right? I like that. Let's uh, quickly though, pull the panels back on. We have the... I'm going to need a shark nose front left fender V2 is what I'll need. So let's put the grill on. Wrong grill, actually, I think. Yep. Grill V4. Bang. Ooh, that looks cool. I do like that. And then we need a new bumper also, actually. Let's look for a new bumper. This build's coming along nicely. Okay, front left shark nose. Bang. Yes. That's looking pretty cool, even without the front bumper, though. We need that on now. V3 front bumper. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. And then we need the hood. Bang. Okay. Ooh. Not too sure how I'm liking liking it, but it's cool though. It's different. I'll take this trunk off. And we do have, I thought we had the trunk. Yeah, trunk V2. Bang. I think this will be the time that we actually use those big purple ones that we had. There they are. 15 by 12. We're going to grab two of those, and then we're also going to need... Oh, I see. Look at the bottom there. It says what inch rim it fits. Okay. So if we want one of those 15s, we're going to need... We're going to need something huge. It doesn't even go up to 15. I have enough cash. Okay, let's just see if those are the right ones first. Then we can just sell everything that we have. Oh, it is those ones. Okay, now I know. Now I know. We can just basically... We'll put on what we need, and then we'll just sell everything all to you. Tires off. Yeah, give me. Oh, these are going to look sick. I'm excited for these. Okay, and then we can do the final paint, and then we're going to be good to go here. Car came out actually not bad. I do like that. Yeah, tires fit on the back because we've already had them. Sick. Let's get rid of everything here. We're going to sell all. Massive 2.3 million yen. Heck yeah. I think this was it right here. Bang. Okay. Let's put our last wheel on. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's satisfying. 
That is satisfying. Okay. So, with all that being said, what else can I tune here? We got a comment from Cool Hammers 77 He goes, to tune the turbo suspension steering ECU, you need to equip, equip the screwdriver, press it one time, then press the part you want to tune, and it'll pop up. So we can actually do quite a bit. I didn't know that. Let's go back into here, screwdriver it, take out the inventory, and look at me. I'm a pro now at this game. Holy... Okay, so I want to see what this is going to dyno at before we do any of the tuning. But these rear tires, though, we can definitely pump up. Bang, to 38. Um, we'll go a little bit more here. I want this to basically skate, right? Let's go ahead and toss this into the shop, and let's get a little paint on it. A couple colors that we can just pick from right away. I like that. Oops. Nice base white for everything. Imagine you can paint the intercooler. That'd be hilarious. Oh, we can paint the frame there. Heck yeah. So we're actually currently outside, basically. This is where you would be when I come around and try to drift into this thing. Rear panel. Maybe we should have replaced that. That's okay, though. Rear bumper. And we're good. Oh, I like this. Maybe let's put back the, the gray on the fenders, maybe. Just to expose that shark front end there. I like that kind of. Yeah, there we go. Okay, pop the nose down. Yeah. Should we do the trunk? Or the, the front hood? Gray? I'm going to do a little two-tone maybe. Yeah. And then when we pop the hood, it's going to be white, right? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. okay. So all that we have left to do is take this on over to the dyno. The engine needs an ECU. What? I guess we need more than that. Oh, it moved it right over there. How cool is that? But it doesn't matter, though, because I need an ECU. Okay. Uh, let's go on over here. How did we not get an ECU? I like how it actually told me, though, because I would have been sitting there wondering what is happening. Let's go ahead. Pop. There it is. Okay, so let's get a quick test and tune. Clutch in, maybe? Right bumper? Let's right bumper to start it. Oh, that's cool. So you can do it from the controller. Right? This game has great controller support. Turbocharged 7,000 RPM here. Let's go ahead and start the roll. And we definitely need some suspension on this, though. Look at this thing. All right, six gear. I'm going to wait for it to come down a little bit here. And three, two, one. Two hundred and ninety-six wheel horsepower. And let's bring out our handy dandy screwdriver and let's do the ECU first off here idle RPM oh that's cool it actually brings that up here you can throw up the rev limiter as well too 7400 thank you and now the big old turbo 1.4 bar don't know what that actually is in PSI but I'm assuming it's good right I'm assuming it's good here we go six gear here we go three two one and 82 wheel horsepower not bad yeah definitely like an apex point here but this is the full test of today how is this car gonna feel on the controller here so let's go ahead first drive out for today with a fully built 2j here this is gonna be fun we didn't put the hood on that's okay but that just goes to show you though you don't need to you can do whatever you want on this game right this is so cool we have all of our tacks and gauges in now damn Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> and our guy's foot goes to the floor. No way. Oh, that's super cool. I do like that. Okay, first gear. And let's slowly hop on out of here. Take it easy. Hands. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are my hands doing? Holy. It's a beast. Now, I did leave all of my settings back to normal from when this game first originally came out of the box. So all of the settings that I changed with the force feedback, with the drift help, they all went back to stock, basically. So we have all those on currently, which I do believe is good for when you are on the controller or keyboard. And look at me! We got some little good tire detail there. That's, right, that's pretty cool. I'm hearing turn signals. Oh! I have turn signals! With the controller, I didn't even map that. 
That's fully map controller for signals already. That's super cool. All right, here we go. Let's see what we do with this thing. Right. Oh my. No, 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 no. Come on out. Stuck. What? Hello? Um. Yeah, that's not good. I pulled my entire, entire fender out there. Yep. Uh, it doesn't work because I'm, I'm in the wall. Let's try that. Oh, oh! I'm flying! Let's go! I know how. To, okay, I know how to navigate now. Let's see how high I can go with this thing. This is Hogwarts at its finest. Let's go higher, higher, higher. Uh huh. <laughs> well then. I found something. Oh, the game devs probably hate me doing this. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm going back. Going back in. Perfect. It worked. It got me off the lip. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, let's get a good little proper run in here. Oh, this looks promising. And right now, also remember, I'm on stock suspension and stock angle. So this car really doesn't want to drift. You can see it. It's just it's basically power hungry. Oh, boy. Yep. And now one thing I just thought of here, actually, if we go ahead and pause the game, we go into settings and game. I do believe traffic is on low. Where's traffic here? Traffic, traffic density. There, bang. Bring it up. Bring it up. Oh, whoa. Traffic really did just dense up fast. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming here. I'm going right into the sun. And we definitely need uh, some type of transmission upgrade, though. It is taking forever to get through these gears. Okay, it takes up like at least a second and a half to shift. I need the good old dog box transmission or something. There we go. Oh, no, no. Okay, I think I have the assist turned on too much. I'm going to take it off, actually, just to see how this is going to help. Drift assist off. Curious. I'm just curious. Ooh. Okay. Look at all the traffic. <laughs> I can't believe there's this much. Just a good old day here on Apex Point. Make sure you guys have entered into the giveaway, like I said. There's no limit to your entries. Can we make this? Oh boy, thank you. Right, I'm going for it, I'm going for it. Of course, this game is not perfect, but it's still in early access, so you can't really say too much about it. Ooh! We're coming this way. No, 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 no. Damn. I'm in, okay, yeah. That's how you teleport right there. Oh boy, our hands are going real fast. Look at that, what the heck? Definitely need some uh, turn down effects on the hands on the steering wheel. Cockpit. Huge thanks for watching once again for today. Like I said, huge thanks to Apex Point for supplying the giveaway key for today. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun though today, testing out the controller. Definitely uh, will put my stamp of approval. You can play this game with the controller. Mind you, you should have your keyboard and your mouse just handy because there's a couple things that I got a little bit stuck on. Um, but, oh, yep. Yeah. I'm good. Huge thanks for watching for today. Let me know your thoughts down below here on Apex Point. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.